Sky here, and welcome to episode number three of our Pokemon Ruby Retirement Lock. Uh, in the last episode, we got to Petalburg Woods and we helped Wally obtain his first Pokemon, which he's not going to be able to train. Um, and we also got a new member to the team in Paula the Wormple, uh, level six, who is a naive nature. We didn't actually look at that. We tackle String Shot and Poison Sting. We've got Ralph Pucciano, level six, for tackling Hal. Uh, Rocket the Zigzagoon, level 6 with Tackle Growl and Tail Whip. Sahajin the Mudkip, level 9 with Tackle Growl and Mud Slap. And Fernando the C Dot, level 5 with Bide and Harden. I think as long as I don't. I, I can I can not touch Fernando for the rest of this. For the rest of Petalburg Woods. Until uh, after Petalburg Woods, because we get something a little bit special there. But we didn't get an encounter in Petalburg Woods. At the end of last episode, so we can go and snag that up now. We did battle this guy though, so that's good. And our first encounter in Petalburg Woods is a Zigzagoon. No matter what, we were getting a Zigzagoon on the party, weren't we? No matter what, we were getting a Zigzagoon. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we did. We were guaranteed a Zigzagoon at some point in our team. So we've got a Wormple as well. I'm not sure. What else we've got in here? Silcoon is technically species clause. Wormple is dupes. There's one Pokemon in here that I know we can get, and I don't know if there's anything else. Can't escape. I really can't escape. Sorry about the speed up. There it is! There it is. That was the one Pokemon I knew we could get in here. It was a Shroomish. Um, but other than that, I, I, I didn't know... I assume you can't get Wingles. I thought maybe Wingle was in here. Or Taylor. But no, our next encounter is a Shroomish. Which is... Uh, that's a good Pokemon. I love Shroomish. I love Breloom. Uh, we do already have Seedot. So... That kind of stinks that we're going to have two grass types. But still, it's okay. It's okay. And it already comes in at level 6. So it's already within our levels. So there we go, we got Shroomish in the party. Mmm, gotcha. Shroomish was caught. A shroomish lives in damp soil in the dark depths of the forest. It is usually found keeping still under fallen leaves. This Pokemon feeds on compost that is made up of fallen, rotted leaves. Now, I am... Um, I caught a shroomish... Oh, this female. I caught a shroomish in... Um, platinum. Platinum. The Platinum Taglock. I think it was the Platinum Taglock. No, it was in prison, wasn't it? Who we named Rage. So, we're going to have Rage. Because look how angry Shroomish is. Shroomish is an angry mushroom. Uh, we need to antidote him. Here, even. And we've got a full team of six. That's cool. I like that. A full team of six is nice. That's pretty good. Other than, other than having two grass types, I'm not mad at that team. We've got a big fire weakness. We've got a big fire weakness, but we don't have to fight any fire types for a long time. So, huh, not a one to be found. Have you seen a Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Hmm. I was going to ambush you before you had to talk to Pen World Wars forever, didn't you? I was sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. I, you're a Pokemon trainer, are you going to help me, please? Uh, what do you think you're doing? What, are you going to protect him? <laughs> no one across his team makes me against any mercy, not even a kid. Come on, battle me. Battle me! Alright then, we've got Team Magma Grunt. He's got a Poochie at level 9. So he's got he's actually got my highest level Pokemon. He equals my highest level, which is scary. It, it means that we do have to go straight out into Sargent. Mm. 
I've got a mud slappy. Good, good thing. Okay, good, good news. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any issues with the first gym. We've got two grass types and a water type. If we learn water gun with Saha Jin, we're good. If we and we've got absorb with Shroomish, I believe. And um, I'm going to teach C dot. I'm going to teach Fernando Bullet Seed. Can I just point out this Puchiano is now at plus three? Please kill. Plus four. I can't miss. I've been sand attacked. I can't miss here. Thank Lord. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Okay, we get to level ten with Saha Jin. And learn water gun. Okay, so the first gym is no problem at all. The first gym is no problem at all. You're kidding me. You're tough. You got some nerf method with Team Magma. Come on, battle me again. Ugh, wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. Yeah. Hey, we at Team Magma are also after something in Rustbro. I'll let you go today. <sighs> Woo, that was awfully close. Thanks for you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. That was overly British. Didn't that Team Magma thug say he was after something in Rustbro too? Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Okay, very British Devon Research here. Let's have a look at our levels quickly. Do I need to... Okay, so Saha Jin can't grow another level until Fernando levels up, which is fine. It's fine. I don't really plan on... I don't need to level up Fernando just yet. Well, I do, but I need to level him up, like, in a min. When he's actually got an attacking move, which he will have after this battle. So we've got level 8 Ninkata here. Uh, actually, Sahajin's fine against this. We can, as long as Sahajin doesn't level up again, we're okay. Hmm. Right, let's, see, let's switch this around. Now that we've got four moves, there we go. Oh, that water gun's so good. That water gun is so good. We're not getting a lot of experience from them. I wanted a little bit more. A little bit more experience would have been nice. Get an ether. Great stuff. I like filling my mouth with seeds and spitting them out real fast. You can have this so you can try it out too. Use it on a Pokemon, it'll learn moves for firing seeds rapidly. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. First TM is, of course, Bullet Seed. So we're gonna. We're going to teach Bullet Seed to Fernando. I'm going to be a little bit disappointed if Fernando gets retired after this gym. Because I'm not in control of that. So when we get to the gym, I will explain exactly what's going to happen. But I will not be in control of that. So we're going to have... Uh, a level 7 Zigzagoon to battle in a second. Uh, this route is the same as the route before, I believe. You don't have a town map in this game. You don't get a town map in this game. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this route is Route 104. Pretty sure. Petalberg Woods, Route 104, yeah. So we can't get an encounter here. Well, we already had the encounter here. Um, yeah, it would have been a zigzagoon anyway. Uh, let's let's bullet seed. See how much we do. Not a lot. But... There we go. All right, so we level up. I, so I kind of just wanted to level up one. Oh, stats are not very good with Fernando. Found a Pokeball. Potion. Okay, what else is in this grass? Can't really kill a Wemple very well. Nothing there. Super Potion there. Which is nice. 
kill another Zigzagoon, can't I? Okay, and we're going to crit at the end there. Sorry about the speed up. I just wanted to get through those battles a bit quicker because... Yeah, I know you don't really want me want to see me battling wild Pokemon. Okay, we're done. We are done. I'm going to quickly... So now, now that Fernando's got an attacking move, he's he's doing well. He's doing okay. Uh, let's... What level are we? Level 7. I'm going to carry on with him. I'm going to carry on with him and take on this Zigzagoon with him. Because anything else, and I'd only have to swap him out. I, I think Fernando can actually take on a Zigzagoon. I'm going to growth first turn. And then just go for it after. So he tail whips, which scares me. I need to watch out how much damage he does to me. I need to pay attention to that. But we growth, and now we bully seed. Really need to watch out how much damage he does to me. He's not going to one-shot me, I can tell you that much. Okay. Hitting three times is fine. Still don't think he one-shots me, even at plus three. Well, at minus three defense. Four stores are nine. Ooh, the crit's good, though. I like that. I like that. And Growl is going to do nothing because I'm using special attacks, so that's good. It's good. Fernando pulling out all of the stops here. Another crit as well. Nice. Nice. Ooh, and a full level. Great stuff, Fernando. So, yeah, between Fernando and um, Rage and Sahajin, we've got the next gym on lock. We've got to revive. That's money. That is money. We're going to go in with Rocket and Ralph. Oh, I forgot about this girl. Should I? I shouldn't have. Okay, sure, I will battle. You shouldn't have. Okay, Lotad, uh, level 7 is a high level, but we've got this Stab Tackle, so we do a lot of damage, actually. But we miss the second one. We do miss the second one. And the... Um, Rocky, you need to learn Headbutt. <laughs> That's all I can say, you need to learn Headbutt. And now we do nothing because we've had our attack reduced so many times. <laughs> I'm just play praying for the crit here. i got to pray for a crit because... Uh, I do still deal more damage than he heals, so that's okay. Only just, and that absorb did keep him alive there. Okay, Rocky. Nicely done. Nicely done. Eventually, in the face of extreme hardship, Rocky came through there. And she's got a Shroomish. I expected her to have a Seed Up. Uh... It's going to be absorbing, isn't it? So we'll go into Ralph. Stun Spore will be annoying. If he Stun Spores me, he will, that will be annoying. He also is out damaging me here. He is out damaging me.
bring back Rocket. That does nothing! What is Shroomish's defense? I can't risk Rocket being put to sleep as well. Really, Rocky. Really. Right. Okay, we got tail two tail whips off. Come on, Rocky. Thank you. Oh Lord. That was a lot harder than it should have been. Shouldn't have bell. Yeah, I kinda wish that I hadn't now as well. Um we actually don't have to fight this the, this double battle. You have to talk to them to fight them, I believe. Yeah. And we don't have to fire him, so we can go in there. Go in here a lot before fighting and get some potions. So we can do that. And I'm, I'm not bothered, I'm doing it. Say what you want. I am not doing it. So, we made it to Rustboro City. I'm not sure if we're going to be taking on the gym today. Or maybe that'll be next episode. Maybe we should go and get an encounter up top first. But we are going to take on these last two trainers down here. Uh, let's put Rage out front for take on this swimmer. The swimmer. Swimmer? He is a funny kind of swimming, he is. Bishaman. Bishaman. Come on, Ivan. So these magic orbs obviously will be easy. Let's see how much damage we do with absorb. Essentially, I'm just checking to see. Oh, I don't need. I don't need to use the speed up. I do not need to use the speed up button just to take on three magic orbs. But if I'd have done like no damage per hit, then the only the the main issue here is I'm going to get no experience on these magic orbs. Twenty five. It's not a full level after the three. And I wanted the full level. I wanted the full level. But never mind. We'll use Rage as well in our in the double battle. I'm not sure why. Just use Rage. I know they've got a C dot and a low tad. But gang up on the, the low tad and... Ooh, we might actually get a full level. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Okay. Are we going to get the level? Are we going to get the level? We do. We do. Level 7 with Rage. Any other stun score? So this is good. This is all good stuff. Thought it wasn't too bad if I do say so, but maybe not. Got three magic orbs. How can you possibly think that you're not bad? We want Paula in here. We want Paula in here. Okay, let's battle with our Pokemon. Come on then, Gina. Let's battle with our Pokemon. Gina and Mia. Sent out a Lotad and a C Dot. Uh, yeah, we're going to just gang up on this uh, Lotad. Because the C Dot can only attack with Bide. And I resist, I resist the Absorb from Lotad with both my Pokemon, I forgot about that. We haven't had a single... Oh, hang on, I can Tackle, what am I doing? Tackle should do more. It does a little bit more, and I'll take it. I 
I'll take that extra a little bit more. Just getting nothing in the way of poisons. C dot unleashed its energy. Astonish, don't flinch me. Okay. All right, so we've got we've got this uh, this C dot here. Who's biding? Or he will be biding. It's the only thing you can do. Uh, see, can you can you actually spun, stun spore in this game? I'm not sure you can. Okay, growth is fine because he's got nothing that he can use on me. So nothing he can use on me. Yes, we got the poison. Okay, we needed that. It just helps with bide. It, 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 that sort of damage isn't taken into account with bide. That's all. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can use stun spore on uh, on grass types on this gen. Thought it was a newer mechanic. Thought it was a newer mechanic. But obviously not. So we'll go back to tackle. So it just means we should kill. Oh, we man on now with the harden. We will have the poison. We will have the poison. Or the crit. Whichever. I'm not really fussed, Paula. Not really fussed. You carry on. You do you. Rage grows to level 8. Paula stays on level 7. But we know what level 7 means for a Wurmple. And that means we get to see what Paula becomes. Is it a Silcoon? Is it a Cascoon? I still can't tell. I don't know which one's which. It's a Cascoon. It's a Cascoon. So that means we're getting Dust Ox. We're getting Dust Ox. Um, the Stab on Poison Sting, I suppose, is nice. It's not stab yet. So we got noise. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're getting there with our levels. It'll be a little bit easier once we get the experience share to, to start leveling up. So let's explore Rustboro C. Let's explore Rustboro. This Pikachu is just not a happy bunny. For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of originality. Giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu seems point. It, it, it is. It is quite pointless. Okay, trainer school. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure you only need to get one thing from the trainer school. And that's to chat to this guy. Oh, students who don't get a don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Is he promoting corporal punishment? Or is he promoting corporal punishment there? I feel like he is. I feel like he's promoting corporal punishment, and I'm not sure I'm a fan. We'll get to the cutter's house. A determined expression. The limber way you move, you're well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, I, I got my Pokemon yesterday. Pretty much. So, no, I'm not that, not that. I mean, in terms of actually me sitting down and recording, I got my Pokemon like an hour ago. Great stuff. Well done. I'm glad you're helping out, man. You do you. You do you. You face around this pass. Have you transferred into the Pokemon Trainer School? No, man. I don't need no Trainer School. Fire type Pokemon do not match up well against Rock type. You are right. You are right. What you want is two Grass types and a Water type, and then you'll be fine. Pokemon are such strange creatures. Now, I've just had a small realisation of one of the Pokemon that I can find in this next route and how I want to trade your slack off for my Makuita. I don't. I don't want to trade your, my slack off for your Makuita. I don't have a slack off. 
okay. Um. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Okay, Route 115 is up here. Uh, she's not a trainer. I don't think there is a trainer up here. There isn't. But I'll take a super potion. So I can't get an encounter here because there are no encounters here until you get a rod. Which is soon, actually. It's quite soon. That means we'll be able to sort of get some extra Pokemon. Honestly, you know... No, because it doesn't matter because it's when it evolves. Yeah, we're just going to get this encounter. We're going to get this encounter. Our first encounter on Route 105 is this. It's a Talo, so it doesn't matter anyway. I was thinking of Ninkata. I was thinking, like, how would I be able to fudge this that I'd be able to get Ninjask and Shedinja? And essentially, because I've got a full team, I would not be able to get Ninjask and Shedinja. Not that I particularly want Shedinja. But uh, an extra Pokemon's always nice, isn't it? And it, I'd, I'd be forced to put Shedinja in the team. And you're almost guaranteed to die, aren't you? I'm taking far too much damage here. I'm taking far too much damage with this Taylor. Uh, I'm going to swap into Sahajian. Because I've got a Flying Weakness as well. I've just realised I've got a Bug and Two Grass for Flying Weakness. A Bug and Two Grass for Fire Weakness. So both of those things suck. We don't have any way of combating the flying weakness. Alright. Alright, we've got Taylor. Uh, you guys know. Taylor courageously stands its ground against foes, however strong they may be. This gutsy Pokemon will remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. Uh, so we've got we we've got our very own Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Swift goes straight to the PC, which is fine. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this episode up here because we made it all the way to Rustboro City and uh, got our encounter. In the next episode, we are gonna be probably yeah. The next episode will have the gym battle in. I know I said it might have been this episode, but it wasn't this episode. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to have the gym battle in the next episode, and we're going to take a, a quick trip towards a Rust Turf Tunnel, I think it's called. Uh, but, yeah, if you are enjoying this series, please leave a like down below. I appreciate all of your support on the series, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys. How will I sit in silence? How will I be denied? I was not born to fall. I was not born to die. I will pick up the pieces.